All right, so we're in Rancho Cucamonga at the Maloof residence, and I'm here with Mike Johnson. Mike, what a beautiful place. I I've never been here before. Tell us a little bit about this place. Well, you're standing right here in the courtyard of the historic Maloof home. Sam Maloof, as some of you may know, was, was a very prominent woodworker in this area. And uh, his furniture has graced homes and offices and boardrooms and churches and, and even museums and prominent places like the White House all over the country. Wow. <laughs> so uh, uh, he has quite a reputation with his woodwork. This is pretty unique because uh, before we got started here, you said that this place was literally picked up and moved. And where was it moved from and, and how do we get to it now? Okay, <laughs> okay. We actually uh, were sitting right in the way of the new uh, 210 freeway extension. Sam's property was on the corner of Amethyst and Highland Avenue in Alta Loma. And the reason for this relocation was because his house was declared a historic this historic home mm -hmm. by the California Registry of Historic Places and because of that uh, the, the home couldn't be torn down and we are now at the top of Carnelian Avenue uh, right below King Ranch. I'll let you in this way and we'll walk right into this very lush compound. Wow, very cool. Wow, this is beautiful. I guess if I had a house like this I'd call it a compound too. There's bricks on the floor. Yeah. Lots of them. <laughs> now, one thing you're going to notice is that they're loose. They're not mortared. And that was intentional. Sam liked to hear the clinking as he would walk through the floor. Every single door, handmade door, is different. He, he wasn't a believer of, of uh, you know, making everything match or look alike. We're in what appears to be a museum. And it has the museum feel in this room. I'm looking at it. He, did he make this? <laughs> Well, actually, this room houses collections of, of several different craftspeople, all the way from, from American Indian pottery, which is in a really nice display case over on that side of the room, to collections of turned wooden bowls from well-known wood turners. Sam was so taken by the craftsmanship that he actually ordered this one custom made to fit right here. Normally they would be considerably longer, but yeah. Sam wanted to hang it right here so people could see not only the bottom, but from the top from up here. These are examples of, of some of Sam's music stands. Sam's work has always been characteristic of, of having a very sculptural quality. Uh, joinery isn't abrupt. Everything mm -hmm. blends together. Okay. And, uh, You'll see it on his chairs, you'll see it on, on pieces like this. You'd have to be outside to, to really see what I'm talking about, but we're actually standing on stilts. And uh, when we were at our old location, this room was actually nestled in amongst big avocado trees, and so you actually felt like you were in, kind of in a treehouse in this room. Oh. And what makes it kind of unique is this beam right above our heads here oh, yeah. is actually a branch of a tree that was on the old piece of property that had fallen in a windstorm. And so what we did was debark it and clean it up and sand it just a little bit and then he incorporated it as a tie beam in this little room here. So cool. And then you have like a little what, bed area back yeah. there? Sam, <laughs> Sam liked to take naps and this is one of his little napping cubbies. And now we're looking over here into what used to be Alfreda's sewing room. It's, it's kind of changed into a sitting room. As you work your way this way, we're actually coming up into a, what we call the tower room. And this tower was actually built to let light into this part of the house. Sam and Alfreda would actually have their bed floating in the, the middle of the room like this without a headboard or not up against a wall. I always thought that was rather unique, but that's the way they they had it. Some people have called him the Dean of American Modern Woodworking and uh, what they call the studio craft movement which which began in the in the 1940s and 1950s. Sam was a prominent figure in that movement and actually became probably uh, one of the most uh, you know sought after people to to acquire furniture from. One of the things that the public will see when they come to tour the museum here is, is actually the largest single collection of Maloof furniture that you'll see anywhere in the world. This stairwell, did, did he create this? Yeah, 
This, this room actually was originally Alfreda's office, the business office, but when we moved her out into another room, uh, this be actually became a, a room that he could ha have guests up on this sleeping loft, and so uh, he created this spiral staircase, and I actually had the opportunity to help him on that. The, the banister of this staircase is just laminated out of a landscaping redwood bender board. What you're looking at is the cross section of a Tasmanian eucalyptus burl, and these came to us uh, cut about this thickness and stacked just the way they were cut from, from a burl. A burl is usually a big kind of growth that is, is usually down towards this, the base of a, certain trees and what makes them so desirable is that they'll have this just wild uh, figure in it. Yeah. Um, I, I really think this is just a quite a unique showpiece and, but you'll notice that, that what we've done is we've taken such a, a completely natural, natural edge piece of wood and put it on one of Sam's entirely finished sculptural bases. And look how well they work together. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. All right, so we're out here in the garden. It's beautiful out here too. <laughs> yeah, the garden is actually is one of the, the showpieces of, of the property. And we actually have uh, a couple different decks that you could bring a picnic lunch and have your lunch here. Uh -huh. Besides the tours, the normal tours that, that someone can take on Thursday and Saturday afternoons, we have events going all year long. We've got pruning and planning workshops four times a year. We've got uh, exhibition openings in our gallery and they're in the spring and the fall. We've got the Mexican folk art and we got community open house in January. As you can see, there's something happening here all the time. We as the woodworking shop uh, cooperate with the foundation on is is accommodating school woodworking classes to come through. Uh, I think it's something that, that gives the students an opportunity to see something completely different than what they're used to seeing. Sure. This has been an awesome visit. I really appreciate it and I'm honored to be here and thanks for sharing this and by all means come check it out in the Inland Empire right here in Rancho Cucamonga. Thanks again. I appreciate it. You're welcome.